So in case you didn't notice by my Tim's, I'm not from here. I'm actually from New York, and uh, I don't know why I'm in Naples, because I hate everything about this place. Uh, all the people, beach, sand, everything. I hate it all. But the reason actually why I'm here is to let you guys know, as a service announcement, they're thinking about changing the flag to Naples, Florida. And they're actually thinking about making it a steering wheel, knuckles, and a blue afro. So make sure you call your congressman and let them know that that's not going to fly here. <laughs> actually, I've never seen this much blue hair in my life. Um, nope, I'm lying. I was at Ringling Brothers once in Madison Square Garden. And yeah, there's definitely some blue hair. Um, the average age here is actually 76 years old, and if you don't believe it, feel free to Google it. I had to do my homework because I was scared to move here. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> and the average age here is so old that in a normal society, when an older woman gets with a younger man, she's called a... Cougar. Cougar. Not in Naples, she's a saber tooth. <laughs> 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 Um, you guys, you guys, uh, the reason why I hate the beach, okay, how about this one, see? I lived in Naples for eight years. I lived ten minutes from all sorts of water, okay? Now, in New York, when you go to the beach, the water's green, not unlike her shirt, and you risk catching a drug infection. <laughs> like, you will literally swim and be good for like a half hour, and then come out like, oh. I think I'm going to go back in for a little while. It's so good in there. <laughs> but I'd rather do that than get chest high in the water like what happened to me. I've been to the beach three times in eight years. Okay? First time I went to the beach, I was chest high in the water. I was like, fucking awesome. I can see my feet. There's shit swimming around. I am one in nature. And then a manatee swam by. <laughs> I'm a city boy. <laughs> I'm a big city boy. <laughs> Anything bigger than me intimidates me just a little bit. <laughs> and if I'm in its house, I don't belong there. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit, there's a dark ominous cloud. <laughs> My mom was standing next to me and I, and I said, Mom, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and she's like, oh, it's just a manatee. And then I see natives of natives, you know, preppies. <laughs> Walking behind it, trying to pet it. What the fuck is wrong with you people? That's exactly how you end up on World Star. Okay? Just so you should know. That's, that's what happens. So I don't do the beach. The second time I go to the beach, I uh, went with my missus and uh, I got stung by a jellyfish. That sucked. You know what sucked more? The 90 year old man that offered to pee on me. I have never been so scared in my life, and I did I did time to write I was scared of that. I said, you know what? Maybe it's just my dumb luck. I'll go again. My daughter came down for vacation. We go to the beach. It was a snook about the size of my arm. Got that much missing out of his back. I picked it up, I looked at my daughter, I said, you see this? This nigga didn't finish eating. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> so I don't go to the beach, I go to the pool where I see every Haitian I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I mentioned my girl earlier, I give her props because she stood by me for the past 13 years and I've been an asshole. <laughs> Not unlike <laughs> but um, she stood by me and I give her credit and uh, I do love her. She asked me the other day I come home from work and she was like, no, you're always so stressed out. Why are you always so stressed out? I said, I'm an Uber driver. I, I work when everyone else parties. I see drunk people in my car more often than I should. And I had two girls get in my car one day and I was there. And I said, are you guys a couple? They said, no, 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 I'm straight, the one girl. I'm very serious, I'm very straight. I was like, sweetheart, so it's spaghetti till it gets wet. I'm catch up to you. <laughs> my, good, my girl stands by me no matter what. I come home the other day, I'm stressed out. I walk right by her, I don't want to put her into my stress. Walk right into my office, I throw up a blunt, I sit there next to you. Oh, I'm sorry, were we keeping that a secret? <laughs> my bad! 
I'm a fucking fire, whatever. I wear tins in Florida. <laughs> so I don't do shit like that. <laughs> so I go home and I sit down and I roll a blunt and she's like, oh, and she can walk right by me. Man, you must really be pissed. My dog's from in the room. Oh, you did do you do you do I turned into a baby, I love my dogs. She's like, why did you treat love better than you treat me? I said, sweetheart. I come home from work, they were on all fours, but they can shake their ass. <laughs> <laughs> you do that, I'll give you a treat. <laughs> <laughs> so I love my dogs. I got 125 pounds of Uno's day. I live in Lehigh Acres. That's a necessity. <laughs> I have a creek running through my backyard. I am from the Bronx. <laughs> you don't do that shit. <laughs> First moved in, I saw turtles. I said, oh, that's so cute. My mom's like, oh, you got turtles. I was like, no, mom, that's out of here. <laughs> so if anybody's going to New York anytime soon, let me know. I'll be right there with you. <laughs>